Hello, Aries. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and I do hope all of you are doing well. This is your monthly tarot card reading for March 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome and please subscribe. And as always, take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for this month. First week in March, you have the Four of Wands. Second week, Major Arcana card, the Hanged Man. Third week, Major Arcana card, the Moon. And the last week in March here, Aries, the Queen of Wands. All right, Aries. Well, first thing that I'm picking up is there's some changes coming in, significant changes, and definitely being extremely happy about what this energy that's coming in and possibly celebrating. So taking a look at your card here for the first week in March, you do have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is primarily a card indicating some type of celebration. So for some of you, there could be something that's either beginning or finalizing in this like first week in March. Could be anything from celebrating like a special milestone birthday or possibly an anniversary for some of you. Um, I'm also picking up engagements, weddings, maybe the purchase of a new home, or just moving. For some of you, you're moving to get out of some place that you're not happy with. So I really love that the Four of Wands is kicking off your reading. This is actually your card, your energy here. Four of Wands is also ruled by Venus, so definitely with Venus being the planet behind this energy and this card, it's associated with love and pleasure and friendship, definitely an energy of celebration. So mainly something that is now, you know, like moving forward. And this does concern your third chakra, that's your navel chakra right at your solar plexus, and the element is fire. So there you go, Aries, that is your element, fire. This is your card kicking it off. It is the chakra of vitality, your will and determination. So your, your actions, you're feeling like you have some control over your life now with this Four of Wands energy. And with this number four, numerology to this card, this is about the practical parts of life and being self-disciplined. So four can, can also mean being very rooted. Um, you know, you're rooted, you're not moving, uh, refusing to change or possibly standing your ground. And I feel that's starting to release and ease up, you might say. There's something that is possibly like taking place or finalizing or just beginning this first week in March, where things are starting to get going and moving. So let's take a look at your clarifying card. Whoops. The Eight of Wands. And I always um, like to note, to pay attention to the direction of the wands, and these wands are taking off. So it is something that is ready to really get going. So definitely can be some kind of a uh, large purchase. It could be finding a new job. You're sending out your resumes, getting lined up with a new company. It could be an engagement, setting a wedding date, things of that nature. Because the Four of Wands concerns rituals and ceremonies. And we do have you know, the four wands here. And there's usually on the four of wands, like a canopy over it. So it's, it's more visual, but in this card, something's brewing. So it can also be considered like certain traditions that usually take place. So you've got the eight of wands here, which is something happening quickly. 
There could be some kind of communication. This could be some kind of news. So certainly can be an announcement of maybe like a big purchase if you purchase a new home or if you get engaged, you're going to make that announcement. That news is going to spread quickly. It could be like um, if you find out you're pregnant, you're going to have your first child or possibly the birth of a child. It's something of that nature where there is a celebration involved. But this is something that's um, happening very fast. So the news is traveling quickly. Now let's take a look at your tea leaf fortune card for this week. You have broom and it says new home, new attitude. Well, not only is this in regards to maybe um, purchasing a new home or moving into a new place, it represents sweeping out the old and going forward with the new. And very much, you know, you're seeing this eight of wands, this four of wands, very fiery energy, your energy. So definitely you're making some kind of stride, advancement in some area of your life. So definitely can mean a new home. You're moving to a new place to live. It could be a new position at work or a new company, just a whole new mindset, you might say, towards things that are around you. So definitely an indication here with the old, out with the old, in with the new. So there's something exciting, you know, coming in very quickly and the news is going to spread that fast as well. Second week in March here, Aries, you have the major arcana mark, <laughs> if I talk too fast, the major arcana card, the hanged man. This is primarily really looking at something with a fresh pair of eyes. It can definitely be a, a new outlook on things just based on possibly what is coming in here with the eight of wands. So an example could be like if you're purchasing a home and possibly you were renting previously and now you're the homeowner so it creates a whole new outlook for renting as opposed to owning a home so different outlook looking at things like from a different perspective this can certainly be in regards to relationships something that maybe you're working on it is stepping back with the hangman and there's a reason <laughs> Um, when this hangman card turns up is to look at something, whatever it may be from all different points of view, every angle. It's an insinuation here that you might be missing out on something because you might have tunnel vision. So you could be missing out on some opportunities. And the numerology here, the number 12, it reduces down to three. That is definitely... You know, something's coming together for you, Aries. You know you know it. Um, it's creating something new. So it is a new direction, a new path, and a new outlook on things. And also, you see here, this individual is voluntarily hanging here, looking at things from an extremely different point of view. But then you see the three um, rays coming out of his head. That's the connection in regards to his crown, his crown chakra, the connection with spirit source energy. So it is about really trusting in your instincts, your intuition, and definitely like looking at something in a different way. And you're certainly going to benefit from this Aries. Clarifying card. You have the seven of swords. Now, Seven of Swords can be someone around you that's kind of doing things behind the scenes. They don't want anybody to find out um, maybe something dishonest. But I am not picking up that energy for you, Aries. What I am picking up with the Seven of Swords is taking a proactive approach. You know, making a plan, coming up with a strategy. And that's what we see this individual is doing. He's taking away the weapons from the enemy camp. It's a proactive approach, non-aggressive approach to leaving your opponent without weapons to use. So it's taking away the obstacles, the challenges, so to speak. So definitely I feel that there is something coming in where you're going to be making plans, just a lot of decisions to be made is what I'm picking up. And then this number seven to this clarifying card, seven's a very spiritual number. 
So by all means, trust in your instincts when you're making these plans and coming up with strategies. But also sevens are in regards to things that you don't have any control over that might just appear in your way. But you're going to be able to handle them just fine. So let's take a look at your tea leaf card for this second week. You have ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Wow. So this is some kind of union coming in. So for some Aries individuals, you might be getting engaged. You might be getting married. Maybe you are having a March wedding. Or it could be the engagement where you're possibly setting a date and now you're making all these plans where you're going to get married, you know, um, where you're going to honeymoon, uh, what food, the cake, what color, all of those things definitely can be in regards to a marriage. And we did have the four of wands over here, which is indicating some kind of celebration, some kind of ceremony. So definitely, you know, for some Aries, Marriage could be in the picture. Now, also, the ring, tea leaf card, it's also in regards to business. It can be any kind of union. So it could be some kind of business partnership, something uh, possibly hooking up with your job or your business. There's something definitely like coming together because you've got the three numerology here in this second week. So something is trying to emerge, come together for you to create like a new path, a new direction. Okay, third week in March, you have the Major Arcana card, the Moon. This is really about staying on course. So first thing that I'm picking up is if you're planning, remember I said this ceremony uh, could be anything. It could be like you're planning an anniversary, a special birthday, any of that. If you have a budget in mind, first message that I'm getting is stay within the budget. If you're possibly making a large purchase, make sure you're staying within the budget. Moon card represents unforeseen things. So it could be unforeseen expenses in regards to maybe an event or party that you're planning. You could be involved with someone else that is planning an event or possibly, uh, you know, it could be in regards to your business. If you have a business and maybe you're expanding, uh, keep an eye on the budget is the main message like coming through. Definitely the moon card is about paying attention to your instincts, your intuition, and also that there are things that are kind of hidden. So there could be hidden costs, hidden details, so pay attention to even any kind of contracts, anything that you're signing or agreeing to. Okay, clarifying card for this. Wow, Four of Pentacles. Now, Four of Pentacles is actually Capricorn's card in energy, so definitely telling you to be practical. Don't hurry into anything, but really be careful of anything that you're signing or agreeing to. Pay attention to the details because with the pentacles here, this is in regards to money. So picking up, you know, watch your budget, watch your finances in this third week of March. It could get away from you in some manner and not necessarily in planning some kind of event or party. It could just be your spending kind of gets a little bit extended too far is what I'm picking up. Okay, your tea leaf cards for the week, um, two of them came out. You have purse, pay attention to your finances, and you have rose, romances in the air. Okay. Well, certainly Aries, if this resonates with you, planning maybe an engagement party, a wedding, Certainly seeing, you know, like all the wonderful options you can have. The budget can quickly get out of proportion. So there is a strong indication here. And also throughout your reading where I'm picking up engagements, weddings, things of that nature. Now for some Aries, 
you might be standing up for a wedding. And there's enough expenses even with that when you're just standing up for a wedding, especially if you're planning like the bridal shower or the bachelor party. There you go. Pay attention to your finances. It's something that seems to be happening here in this third week of March, which is trying to part you with your money. And it's all going to be in the name of love. All right, last week in March, here you are, Aries, the Queen of Wands. Now, Queen of Wands is primarily Aries card and energy, but it interchanges with Aries and Leo. But definitely in the fourth week, it's all about you, Aries. This is something in regards to your future. You know, just look at her wand here. She has three different levels. And I'm also looking at, look at this, this little teeny tiny blip here. That's actually the planet Saturn, which usually is um, indication of time. I am getting the message of uh, time is of the essence here in regards to what's happening in this last week of March. So definitely it could be some kind of deadline or something possibly if you are planning something that you have to make decisions, there's a deadline I'm picking up. Now I, I am picking up a very strong energy here, Aries, where you've got everything under control. You're listening to your intuition. You're also very appealing, attractive appearance wise in this last week of March is what I'm picking up. And just really, this is plans for your future. This is moving forward with um, back here, whatever possibly the eight of wands represents in the beginning of the month. And you're really moving forward with confidence, taking the lead. So for some Aries, this is possibly, um, this could be anything from like going off to school, getting your degree. It could be stepping into the work world, a new company, a new job, a new position. It could be the beginning of a relationship or taking that relationship to the next level and planning a wedding, or it could even be getting pregnant, planning to start a family. It's all things that take planning and strategy to have everything go well. Now let's take a look at your clarifying card. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Your card, your energy in this last week. So with this Ace of Pentacles, definitely there is some kind of opportunity here, something for you to take advantage of. And it's in regards to your future, very positive energy. So with this being Pentacles, Certainly could be in regards to money and finance. For some Aries, this could be in regards to your health. Pentacles also represent health. You might be doing something that's really going to benefit you health-wise. As I was picking up in this fourth week, you're just far more attractive, maybe changing how you look, your clothes that you wear, things of that nature. You might be doing like a self-makeover. So taking advantage of some you know, opportunity or option. That's what's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. And it seems to be happening, you know, just more towards the end of the month. Something could just appear and you're definitely going to take advantage of, of it, whatever it is. That's what I'm picking up. Last message for you, Aries. Tea leaf card. You have Apple and it says temptation will test you. Now, if you look closely, you see the snake on the branch kind of dangling this apple. So it's kind of like the shiny object capturing your attention. This is definitely kind of a warning message, Aries, that you will be tempted to do something against maybe your better judgment or something that you know is absolutely wrong to do. And the kicker with this is you're going to think that no one will know or find out. So this card is a warning that that is not going to be the case. So really be alert to what's coming your way in this last week of March. Could have something to do with this Ace of Pentacles. Be alert to what's coming your way. 
there's going to be something um, that you're really going to be thinking about, but you know you shouldn't, and that could possibly be spending more money than your budget and taking things to the extreme. But Aries, a lot of positive energy, being able to move forward with your plans, maybe something you um, wanted to have happen certainly can be you know, getting together with friends and family to celebrate something in a specific, uh, like a special birthday, an event, an anniversary, the birth of a baby, all those things. And it could also be an engagement, marriage, wedding. And for some Aries, um, a large purchase. For some, there is also something coming in where the news here is going to spread very quickly throughout probably friends, family, maybe the work environment, and you're gonna have a reason to celebrate. So Aries, that was your tarot card reading for the month of March. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to subscribe, help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Aries family.